Hello, my name is Phil Bright and I'm the GIS Specialist in the Statistics for Development Division at the Pacific Community and I'd like to quickly show you how we can use the Fiji Population GIS. So this is an online application that we've developed um, for Fiji uh, and in collaboration with the Fiji Bureau of Statistics uh, the first main data set that we have in there is uh, census data from the 2007 census. Um, now with uh, Cyclone Winston that has, has recently uh, passed over Fiji and unfortunately caused a lot of damage, uh, it's very useful to be able to access uh, various uh, data at a, a lower level of geography that then enables us to determine uh, various relief efforts and provisions that are required on the ground. Um, now in this system, when it when it first opens, we have uh, the Fiji map that's loading by default. Um, we have access to a list of indicators, um, either through access full list here or add data to the map. And so clicking on that then brings up the data that's available in the system. Now as I said, most of this is 2007 data but we've also recently added in population projections to 2015 uh, which can be accessed here in the D4 projections folder and this is as I said all 2015 data for the Tekina level of geography um, we can break this down by five year age groups um, for enumeration areas which are the census districts uh, we only have so the Tekina is this one, we have all of these indicators and looking at enumeration area we have total male and female. Now if I was to uh, click on one of these, for example at enumeration area our total population, this will load up population figures for all of the enumeration areas these are all projections that have been calculated at a Tekina level um, and then this, that, those figures for each Tekina have then just been dispersed uh, across the EAs according to the population distribution that we had in 2007. So these are not estimates that have been specifically calculated in EA level um, because that's a very fine level of geography anyway. Um, and so we can move over these areas and have a look at the figures that are coming up in the uh, where the cursor is with rough estimated populations for those enumeration areas. What we can also do is we can display over the top of this our cyclone path and uh, some buffer zones that are being calculated. Um, if I go to display under vector layers the cyclone Winston track we have the path that's been taken uh, by the cyclone and this is a path that's uh, a rough estimate of the one that uh, was being uh, displayed by the Fiji Met Bureau and then I can also display under search the cyclone Winston buffers and this brings up the buff buffer zones that we've been using for some of our population calculations and so the inner buffer is 30 kilometers either side of the track then the next one is so from 30 to 40 kilometers, 40 to 50, and then 50 out to 100. And you can see as you move the cursor over that, uh, the area being highlighted. Now if I click on that buffer zone, we can then actually select all of the enumeration areas <coughs> within that buffer. And down in my little uh, information display, it tells me I have three, uh, sorry, 938 EAs that intersect with that buffer and so you'll notice those that cross over the border of the buffer are also being selected um, and we're summing up the total of those for this indicator which gives us 510,802 um, the estimate some total of the the uh, EAs for the whole country is 866,991 um, but being rough projections uh, please don't take these exact values they are certainly also got rounding errors in some of the smaller numbers uh, they give us a, a rough idea of 
of figures that we're looking at for each of our EA areas. Um, we can click on the data tab up the top and this will display uh, that data that's been selected and we can even click on the export button and export that to Excel uh, should we so choose to. Um, now I'm going to close this selection I can also bring up a Bing map the aerial map at the back that allows me to actually see a bit more of a map of the the area keep in mind that this is the same thing that you see on Bing online uh, it's not an image uh, post Cyclone Winston so we're not going to see damage on the image uh, it simply gives us a bit of a uh, an idea of exactly where we are if we're looking for certain areas um, this is a tool that is freely available uh, to anyone that has access to the link uh, this can be accessed through the FIBOS, uh, the Fiji Bureau of Statistics website we have a link on the SPC website um, www.spc.int forward slash popgis2 forward slash Fiji uh, please share this widely uh, and all comments are welcome Thank you very much.